With all the new updates coming with Operation Vector Glare, it's safe to say that the game has changed drastically. Let's start off with the new operator that everyone's been talking about since. Since this gadget is called the ROU Projector System, and it's an incredible new addition to the game. The gadget is a rolling smoke grenade that leaves a wall of smoke in its path, and it is incredibly versatile and can be used for a quick capture or plant, since it's also introducing a new gun to the attackers called the POF-9. It is an assault rifle with a drum mag that makes short work of the defenders. Also, the gun has a bit of recoil, but with a bit of practice, the gun will shred. Other than this gun, Sense is also bringing the French 417 DMR. For Sense's secondary gadget, they will have the SDP 9mm, which is Mozzie's gun, and the Ghana 6. And I think everyone knows that we should all be running the SDP 9mm. Although, this op really shines when they are paired with Glaz. With the new update to Glaz making him a 3 speed and giving him the bearing 9, he will be a must pick for attackers. He will literally be the new Ash. I see this being a default pairing for a long time. Although Sense's gadget doesn't go unpunished. Sense can't see through the smoke, but Warden and Glaz can. I see Warden becoming relevant again, especially to counter attacker aggression. Now let's talk about the new updates to Rook. His pick rate has been in the toilet because he doesn't bring enough to the table, but with this new season, it allows people with armor to self-revive. Now this is being tested in the TTS and could be removed, but I see it as a long-term buff for Rook. Another note is that operators that lost their secondaries in place of the Gon 6 will be getting it back, so you will have three secondary options instead of the previous two. Also coming with the new season is a map called Close Quarters. This will be a team deathmatch only map set in Greece and is designed for close combat. I personally like it, but there's been a lot of controversy about it, and I think we should just wait until it comes to the full build to actually form any opinions on it. And that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the new season, Operation Vector Glare. There may be some things I missed, so if you catch anything, make sure to leave it in the comments. Anyway, like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Also, I'm sorry for not uploading for like four months.